classic princess stories have been disappearing for quite a while now. Disney used to be kind of like the big uh, dog when it comes to princess stories. And now it's like, well, there's no classics, you know. Now, I would say that when it comes to classic stories, I'm talking about Frozen or whatever. I'm talking about the old classics. Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, freaking uh, Cinderella. What else? Plenty of them, you know. Um, it's due to these stories that, you know, I like. <laughs> it's like, you know, they're very simple. They have a very simple goal and you can make them very fascinating. I feel like these days people won't really take interest in whatever there is these days in animation and storytelling with princesses. I recently watched this video by Just Right, someone who made a video talking about how all Disney movies were very conservative and how new movies that were, you know, 3D animated were very liberal. Now, they do try to paint this brush that, you know, like the new cartoons, like, you know, with that are 3D are very, you know, telling a different story and, you know, that changed the animation industry. Okay, but, like, I feel like the person was a bit wrong because it was just that when new people were brought up, they had a different sense of storytelling. They did not really want to tell classic t tales like that. And 3D animation is something that people can do these days. I'm sure anyone can do, but it'll take some time, okay? Um, no wonder so many random people are just jumping in the animation craze, you know, it's like I like 3D, you can make a lot of realistic stuff with it I would love to make some a few 3D animations that is very realistic, but I don't want to make freaking everything with 3D I think I should just stick with 2D And this is why, you know, I do see kind of like a big shift in storytelling and it's like you don't get classical stories and here's where I come in I'm gonna try and take advantage of classical stories and well my own classical stories okay 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 I'm just trying to make make this entire video clear I'm not just stealing people's ideas and trying to make them into like some kind of weird stuff I'm trying to make my own stories and just not put these dumb stuff in it, you know, make very good classical stuff, but no one will be interested in. I did say that I do plan on taking over the princess genre and like the classical princess genre and making something much more entertaining. And I hope that my own animations can actually challenge modern Disney and all the other big companies and make sure they feel a bit more sad that, you know, like these days we have a lot of creators who you know just live in their own homes make their own stuff and they barely experience when it comes to learning stuff you know it's like when it comes to learning about arts and stuff like this is why i hated arts in school because there was nothing about freaking creating stuff the majority of the time was just learning definitions and it was like you, you you're doing that for nothing you're doing that it's so pointless oh my gosh why is it so fucking pointless? Like, this is why I hated art. I didn't want to even choose it, but then I ended up, you know, dropping, I guess. So it was a win-win for me, but not really. I had to go to hospital and stuff and have a lot of, you know, checkups and I had to have a brain scan too. So, oh boy, a lot of <laughs> painful stuff. I mean, a needle was stuck in my hand, which I remember. Like wasn't that painful now, like needles aren't that painful, if you just shove a billion needles in my ass, I will scream, but shove a million needles in my hand, I won't scream. Okay, what is this video about needles now? This isn't about needles, or whatever, it isn't about my bodies and stuff, it is about animation and challenging the big game. It is kind of interesting to see if I can actually go head to head while I be a stay at home animator, a very, uh, you know, animator who wants to make, um, just good animations, all made animations without big corporations and stuff backing me up when it comes to the animations. I think I would do that and I would challenge the, the big brands and 
let's see what the big brands do. <laughs> let's see, because I know for a fact that if I ever get somewhat popular, brands will try and eye me, but I am not here for eye. I have to keep my own stuff. I will never be, you know, listed to eye anywhere because I'll just turn it down. I make my own stuff. I think that these big brands are just big brands and just trying to earn money out of everything. I think, like, yeah, I am very happy that these people can make whatever they want and very good at capitalist skills, but I feel like, you know, they just some of them could just take advantage of many pe people and just make remakes after remakes after remakes and exploit people's cash. So, I don't know about that. You know, I'm, I won't sell out. So, there we go. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, right. You have to be the most artist lesbian to make me drop out, because I will never drop out of my own animation game and just leave it and join the big brands or anything like that. If I do in that, if I do that in the future, I want you guys to smack me in the face, okay? <laughs> okay, basically this video was about why I will never, ever, well, this video was basically pointless. Why I will never, ever join the big brands and why... I'm going to compete against these brands and why these big brands can never ever tell me to join them and challenge me and stuff because I know for a fact I can win unless they sue me for no reason which I know for a fact they can actually do that so like then, I, then I'm screwed <laughs> but I can still win because it's logic that you know I am not even doing anything there's one thing that I would want to buy from Disney which is the rights of gummy bears why because the show is such a wonderful classical show that I feel like Disney can actually ruin it these days so like okay I don't want to get into it but you know what I mean thanks so much for watching take care love you all bye